What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Crypto Logic Podcast. My name is John. We're back with another one with our new co-host, our recurring co-host, Crypto Sage, with the Gap hoodie on, looking fly. That's my brother right there. How you doing, Sage? Chilling, bro. Chilling, man. I've been here, been waiting for you to come back and do this podcast. I'm just, I'm trying to bring Crypto Logic John back, man, to get him to do these podcasts, man. Because I just love. I just love talk. We talk about crypto all day, so you know it's just it's nice to just get on a recording and just start talking about it and start informing people on what's happening. You know. Yeah. No, it's always good to to let the people know what we talk about. You know, behind the scenes and and and, and let them know how to maneuver through this crazy space, this Web three space. You know, we've been uh, tapped into the NFT side for a minute, and I think uh, we're kind of tatering tearing back into the crypto side of it and. And yeah. kind of letting people know like the, what's what to expect, and what to look out for in the next bull run. So, you know, we got a lot of things that we're going to be cooking up here over the next what few weeks here that I think is going to be beneficial for a lot of the viewers and and crypto holders out there. So I'm excited yeah. to, to start talking about you know the space and everything again. No, exactly. Right now, I mean, we're going to be talking about what's going on in the market. You know, prices, price predictions, what coins we're holding. Um, you did a video recently, I think it was today, about what's your top three holdings right now, which I find very interesting. And even though a lot of your viewers hear you talk about it, because you're like the only guy that talks about LCX, right? Like, I don't see anybody else talk about it. But um, I want to be more informed on to what LCX is. And I'm pretty sure um, people who watch you would love to know, you know, a little bit more about it as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I could probably give, you know, top three coins that I'm looking at right now. You should. You should. The thing is, um, my you all right, so let let's just get straight into it. Let's 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 jump right into it. Um, what is your top three holdings and why? Well, I made my video and I basically said that my top three holdings is number one is LCX, number two is XRP, and number three is quant. Right. And LCX, I think, has the most upside um, in the last bull run. Twenty twenty one going to twenty twenty two. LCX had an all time high of sixty eight cents before their app was released, um, before anyone really knew what it was, before there was uh, a lot of holders, before there was recognition. Um, they're regulated in the European Union in Europe. They're probably the only exchange that's regulated. So they're basically an exchange that has all the green light to go ahead and do whatever they need to do for their exchange. Um, they, they're like the slow turtle in the race. They follow the guidelines. They have about 900 million supply in tokens. And yes, people are like, why do I need a token for an exchange? Um, that Like we all know, crypto, those tokens help build their infrastructure, right? So there was a little bit of FUD going on LCX. They made another token for their NFT side because they're making like an NFT section for their... Uh, for their exchange and they made another token for it. So they're doing the same thing, but instead of, so a lot of people are mad or like, why are you not just using the LCX token? Why are you making people buy another token for the NFT side? And they're going to have regulated, uh, basically legalized NFTs in a sense that's regulated already. So everyone, you know, you if you buy NFT on LCX, you know, that's good. It's compliant and it's ready to go. And it's backed by real world assets like diamonds and stuff like that. But the okay. LCX token itself, um, I think is is going to be utilized like Binance. So they've always been saying that their their real competitor is Binance, but more so on the regular regulatory side, they're going to be a regulated Binance. They have regulated staking, so they're going to offer staking, but it's already you know approved and regulated. Um, it's very similar to how like investment portfolios are when you invest and you stake. So I made like a video on YouTube a while back. I just got to retouch on my memory on that, but. LCX to me was one of the biggest sleepers because of the supply, the all time high of where what's at before their app came out and they're 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 still building in the bear market. Their CEO is is very prominent. He's like Brad Garnhouse with XRP, which is my second holding. Um, he's out there. He's he's hiring. He's not firing. He's building. He's expanding. He's has partnerships, right? He's building the European dollar with Quant. They partner with Quant with H Bar. So they're doing. They're making all the right moves to allow themselves to 
get through the bear market and only be able to allow themselves to thrive in a bull market, right? So that's why I'm thinking that LCX is a good long-term hold. Uh, it's not something that I think is just going to be a one-hit wonder. I think they're here for the long term, um, especially if they just get back to all-time high. I think it's trading at like five cents right now. So <laughs> the upside is tremendous, right? Even if it gets to 30 cents, right, from five cents to 30 cents, like having LCX is a good way to boom your – boom your portfolio in the next bull run you know what i'm saying so that's what i think lcx is number one for me um xrp is number two they just beat the lawsuit but in this in this podcast i want to talk about some breaking news that that happened that no, I before think, you talk about that breaking news before you do i'm not gonna talk L- about it i'm not gonna talk about it i'm just saying that there's some breaking news yeah. that's gonna affect xrp like, some so negative LCX, news lcx is is an exchange like finance it's finance yes but they're they're very slow they're doing everything methodically and slow okay, finance okay, okay. went balls to the wall it was like ah we're doing this we're doing that we're doing this lcx is going to do literally everything finance does but at a slower pace and a reg and it's going to be regulated yeah so for those who are watching NFTs, right lcx <laughs> is a regulated trading venue offering a range of digital currencies so it, it is an exchange like Coinbase, like Binance, right? There's a lot. I, I think you know sometimes people get mixed up. They don't know like it's the coin. It's what what is it? What yeah? So it, it's an exchange. Yeah, it's an exchange just like Binance. Now, right now, I'm looking at the the market cap, and the market cap is 48 million. So this is this is very very like it doesn't have a big market cap. This is like a micro micro coin no, no, you know no, what i mean no, no, no. like later 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 is does that make you bullish when you look at kind of like binance's uh, uh market cap which is like 37 billion dollars yeah, that's what I, yeah i mean that kind of shows you the range like where it could kind of go right yeah so we're looking at lcx and it's it's a uh, market cap is 40 i think it's like 40 million and you yeah. look at something like binance which their native token is 37 billion <laughs> That's that's a big difference. Just give that's... LCX one billion market cap and see what happens. <laughs> well, you, you're making a lot of you. You're definitely making. <laughs> a ton of so I can see where 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 you're kind of like why that could be a, a nice big play for you, and it could be a big pl- big play for others, right? Now, where do you think like LCX can kind of compete with Binance, like on like what Binance is not doing? You know what I mean, like. Where do you think LCX is, is actually outperforming Binance? Well, what I think it'll do long term is just have the the uh, peace of mind. Um, right now, Binance is obviously going through, um, you know, with the CEO and everyone thinking that it's going to get sued and all that stuff. So right yeah, now, see- LCX has the peace of mind factor. Um, their exchange is was very when it first came out was very like vanilla. Uh, it was slow and everything. Um, so I think they have a lot of room improvement for the, their exchange. Their NFT side is going to be good, um, but it's not going to be as degen. That's the, pro- the only problem that I think is that they're not as degen as other platforms are. Well, it's more controlled. Yeah, yeah. It mixes a lot. It's it's more controlled. They're kind of playing by the rules, and it's going to be a safer pick. So you know, from an investor standpoint, looking at LCX and where we could see LCX pump. Is if when, when those regulations come to play, right? Yeah. They're ahead of the Regula- game, yeah. To play, and you see a ton of cryptocurrencies get wiped out, right? You're gonna see companies like LCX, coins like LCX, pop off of that, right? Because yep. LCX, like from what you're saying, is they're trying to do the right thing, right? They're doing everything the right way. They're like a, the boring kind of you know coin, but they're doing it the right way. And the, the SEC is not really looking at them the same way the SEC is looking at Binance and, and Coinbase. Yeah. You know, you, you know, we're just saying that alone. Um, <clears throat> the SEC is actually coming at uh, Coinbase uh, again. I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah, did I you did. See that? Yeah. They're like targeting yeah. Coinbase. Yeah, they're coming at um, Coinbase all over again. They said the SEC asked Coinbase to haul all cryptocurrency trading except for Bitcoin. That's crazy. Prior to suing them, so which is which is kind of crazy. Like, what do you think about that? The SEC kind of flipping on Coinbase and saying, "Hey, you need to hold everything but Bitcoin, right?" What do you think about that? Yeah, because I mean, Bitcoin has is truly decentralized. There's no well, some people say it's 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 not truly decentralized because the whales 
right? The whales own so much Bitcoin and they could manipulate the market. But in a sense, there's no CEO. There's nobody to go after. Like Ethereum, you have um, Vitalik. Uh, obviously, Binance, you have uh, Chang, CZ, CZ um, you know, XRP has Brad Garlinghouse. So like all these tokens, they're trying to say like, these are all securities. Stop now. Bitcoin is the only thing that you can trade. Um, and, and it goes to the narrative that a lot of people, you know, in the past during the bull run was saying 99% of cryptos are going to fail, right? There's how many cryptos are there? Uh, uh, currently right now, if you want the exact number, um, 1.8 plus here. million, dude. Look, bro, it went up. I remember that thing used to be like 90K, 100K, 1.8 plus million crypto tokens. And I was, Insane, we, which is crazy. And that, and that's, <laughs> that's what tells you, you know. <laughs> 99% of all cryptocurrencies are not going to be around. Yeah. And we were there when it was running like 100K, 20K, 50K to, uh, token. Now there's 1.8 million. 1.8. 1.8 million uh, coins in the market right now. So yeah, that's... So 99% of those are going to be all gone. Um, So that's what basically the SEC is saying. Like, get rid of all these. Don't stop selling so you're hurting people because... Their job is to protect the investor. That's what the SEC's motto, um, yeah. motto is. So Our let, let, let's go over what they said. I, I'll read it right now. So it says this. They came back to us and, and they said, we believe every asset other than Bitcoin is a security. And we said, well, how are you coming to that conclusion? Because that's now our, our, our uh, interpretation of the law. And they said, we're not going to explain it to you. You need to just delist every asset other than Bitcoin. That's crazy. Which is which is crazy. Like the SEC is really sticking their nose into everybody's business right now, right? Yep. <clears throat> and right now, but like right now, um, you know, you, you saw XRP win the lawsuit, right? And then the SEC is like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. You didn't win. We need to go back, right? You see the SEC now coming at Coinbase telling them they need to delist everything but Bitcoin. It I, I think like we've we've always talked about it. I've talked about it a thousand times. I really see no, later. a big later. massive drop coming for the market very, very soon. If the SEC keeps going after these coins like this and they keep digging their nose into these places, like I, I think there's gonna be a massive drop. And we haven't seen a massive drop in a while actually because Bitcoin right now has been just trading sideways. It hasn't really been doing too much. It's at twenty nine thousand right now. It's gonna drop. And if you look at the year <laughs> and the index, it's like neutral. Real. It's not. No one's too greedy. No one's very fearful. It's very just in the middle. We don't really know where we're going. But if the SEC keeps going this way, yeah, Later. we're gonna see some crazy shit. I don't think it's gonna affect Bitcoin, but when it comes to the altcoins, other coins besides Bitcoin. I think the market's definitely going to, like, flip out. Shit's going to get crazy, guys. Yeah. And I think Hex just got – the creator of Hex I mean, just got sued. And Hex – Oh, look at that. And yeah. Hex just got demolished. It went down, like, 28% or something like that. Yeah. Um. So what, what's his name? Uh, Richard Hart, right? <laughs> look at this and thing. My favorite crypto guru, Richard Hart, is now getting sued by the SEC, right? And it's like – I saw that coming. I don't know about you if you saw that coming, but I, I kind of saw that coming because of the way he kind of carries himself. Yeah. So this guy's buying Gucci bags. This guy's buying, you know, probably the finest shit ever. Twerking on fucking social media, flaunting his money. And, you know, it was kind of expected that the SEC was going to go after him. And now with that news coming out, where is it at right now, you said? <clears throat> uh, zero zero six is down twenty six percent. It went it initially crashed twenty eight percent in a day, today, or in, within that. that day. And for the year, it's down eighty seven percent, eighty seven percent for the entire year. And today alone, it dropped twenty five percent after that. You know, after the SEC announcing that they're they're coming after him too, man. So the SEC is coming after everybody. It's a very unsafe place in crypto, but. At the same time, I think it's still a great time to start getting in. Like, yeah, possibly. Yeah. It's, best time. it's still a good time to accumulate. You want to be accumulating right now. You don't want to just be sitting on the sidelines. Um, exactly. Exactly. You, you don't want to sit on the sidelines. You want to be in the market, and, and that's it. You want to be looking, seeing what's happening. Right now, 
there's a lot of things going on. Um, it's not really affecting the market like that, but I think it's going to affect the market long term. The thing that I want to get into, which is my second uh, token, right, is XRP, right? And it's, 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 there's going to be some good accumulation uh, moments here to come for you guys, right? XRP just dropped from 78 cents or something like that, 79 cents today, down to 69 cents, right? Um as you can see, the reason why is this is broke today, about like a couple hours ago. It says, in a surprising twist to the uh, ongoing uh, SEC case against Ripple, a U.S. district judge, uh, his name is Jed Rakoff, has re redeputiated a significant aspect of Judge Torres's ruling. So basically, this guy, this judge said, no, 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 we can't go with what you said. So he rejected because... um. This judge is overseeing the case between uh, Luna, you know, Terraform. Is that is that Terra Luna, Terraform Labs? Because you know how they got sued? Yeah. So Terra Luna is kind of using the, you know how like, so everyone was saying that when the Ripple case was going to end, everyone was going to use the Ripple case as the standard. Like, oh, we did what Ripple did, so we're not going to get in trouble because we did what Ripple did. You guys said they're not a security. Like, their initial offering stuff was securities, but what they currently are now is not security. So everyone was like, if Ripple wins the case, everyone was going to use Ripple as the, as the blueprint for if they get sued and stuff. So Tara Luna tried to do that, and the judge said no. Like, that's not how it works. Like, he basically said, no, that Judge Torres was wrong. So another judge, so he, he just basically said that um he did not agree with her, and he's re 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 he rejected what Tara Luna was saying. Was saying so it doesn't overturn the rule, Ripple ruling, right? It doesn't overturn it. But the, the uh, Gary Gensis hinted that the agency is going to appeal the ruling. But Rakov's ruling provides an alternate uh, interpretation of how cryptocurrencies should be classified. So other judges will probably, like, this judge is already not using what the other judge said. So this could be a, a, a domino effect for, you know, for all of crypto because, yeah, just because Ripple wins doesn't mean that it sets a standard for the entire market like everyone's been saying. Yeah, exactly. It, it kind of is just, it's just setting the standard for Ripple, XRP. And that's that's what I think. Um, right here. But so Gary Gensler could use what this judge is saying in his argument. That's the, it's, it's, not, it's not cold cut, you know, clear that Ripple, that XRP is not a security based on this judge's uh, opinion on it. Yeah, because they're saying it is a security. It's not a security. Um, you know, what is it? Why can't you guys just come to a decision on what it is and yep. just move forward? I think, like like I said before, I, I just think it's the SEC sticking their nose into everything. And, you know, it's it's giving the whales enough time to accumulate. That's it. <laughs> Be a whale. Accumulate. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of what I think it is. It's. The, you, the market is always shady, right? The market is always trying to play its tricks on you. And you got to see when these tricks are being played. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm still bullish on XRP. I, I think XRP is going to do very well. I don't think XRP is a, is a security. Um, and it's at 69 cents right now, which is a perfect Woo! buy, buy, buying buy, 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 buy. Yeah, it's still a great buying opportunity right now. We haven't seen it cross a dollar which I honestly think maybe this year we'll definitely see it cross that dollar mark, right? Um, we usually see kind of like crypto pump um, in like the November, like around November. Yeah. But we might see it pump over a dollar in November. There's a possibility for that. That would be I, – I already know the XRP community is going to go absolutely crazy. But it's not guaranteed. We don't know, right? Because something good could happen and the SEC could do something else. So don't get your hype up. I mean, it is what it is. So quant. I you said quant was your third favorite coin, which I kind of agree with. <clears throat> because one of the main things that make me bullish on quant is that it has a lower supply than Bitcoin. Yeah. Right? Which I think that's that's crazy enough. That makes me very, very and bullish. It has more utility than Bitcoin. Exactly. It does have more utility than Bitcoin. You, can you you want to talk about some of the utility that Quant has? Yeah, well, Quant, Quant is supposed to be like an open source in a sense of uh, the grandmother of all cryptos. It's supposed to bridge and connect um, other cryptos together. Uh, it's a big network um, and allows other cryptos to basically talk to each other and work with each other. 
and bridged along one another and and utilize its you know efficiency. So I think Quant is one of the biggest sleeper tokens, and its its supply is another factor of why it's so powerful. Um, it's partnering and helping making CBDCs. It's gonna work with Ripple. It's gonna work with um, H Bar, um, and and they have a really smart CEO. So Quant is gonna do some big things in the in the crypto space, and it's gonna basically connect all other branches of cryptos. So. I Beautiful. think it's gonna be awesome, and that that, that thing is banks, that thing, right? Cool. They're, gonna, they're gonna they're gonna connect banks. They're gonna connect companies. They're gonna connect and allow builders and developers to create using Quant. Yeah, I think I I, I am pretty mm-hmm. bullish on Quant and what they're trying to do. Um, it the token, I mean, is I mean the coin is doing perfectly fine. It's it's staying above that one hundred dollar range. I thought it was going to go lower to like that forty dollar yeah. mark. Never went there. Never went there. It's still holding itself at 109 bucks right now, which is absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, and it has a really good opportunity. There were some people that said quant and the next bull cycle can possibly hit somewhere around two to five thousand dollars, which I could definitely Ooh. see that happen because it has a lower supply than Bitcoin. You That's know, and it, a lot of money. it's gonna make a, a shit ton of people money. A shit ton of people money. Um, I'm looking at the website right now. Definitely bullish on Quant. I think those were pretty good. Uh, three three picks. They're like <laughs> six picks. I think they're very they're very like safe. LCX is probably your 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 very risky play, but it makes yeah. sense, right? XRP is your safe. Your like your safe place, and then like Quant is leaning towards the risky side, but it's also a safe pick, right? Yep. It's not. You're 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 not really getting very very risky, you know. Um, is there any more coins or or cryptocurrencies that you're actually looking at that are on the riskier side? Yeah, that you, um, that you- I like Cadena. I just don't know, you know, that's gonna be a big risk, but I think it has a lot of uh, upside. I really like Cadena. I think what they hit in the bull run was it thirty dollars? Like twenty seven bucks. Yeah, yeah, but um, close to thirty bucks, and they're at fifty five cents right now. So. I like Cadena. The supply is a billion. Yeah. Um, I like what they had in plan, like what they had planned. Um, I still need to do more research on if they're currently, you know, building and, and getting ready to 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 thrive in the next bull run. But I do like Cadena. That's a very risky play, I think. Um, Flow is another one that I don't think is risky, but a lot of people will. They're more well versed into the NFT side. Flow is uh, powering the UFC uh, NFT blockchain. They're powering the NFLs. They're powering NBA Top Shot. They're powering, um, I think, hockey as well. I'm not sure yet, but um, they they have a very uh, bright future. Um, they're they're to me they're like the Spotify of of investing, right? Spotify was um, mm-hmm. a thing that people actually believe was risky, and then uh, uh, not Spotify, Shopify, and Shopify blew up and made a lot of people wealthy because um, people were like, oh, what the hell, like I can just build my own website yeah. like people didn't really believe in it back in the day believe it or not people didn't believe in shopify and Shopify blew up and made a lot of people money i think flow has that potential to do that um they're still in the top 100 at 58 cents um i think their all-time high is also like 30 bucks to 40 bucks too so that's why i'm like yo look at the 58 cents just even 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 a quarter of its all-time high hitting five bucks you're making money you know yeah. what i'm saying so Remember, when these things hit their all-time high, liquidity was there because people were foaming into cryptos. I just think that flow, people are, is something that people are going to forget about. Like, flow, when it comes back and and liquidity is back, flow is going to have its moment to shine. I think that flow will, will touch, you know, at least half of its all-time high. And, I'll on, tell you what. 58 I, I, cents I, I, to 20 yeah. bucks, 40 I bucks? I don't know about flow, but I do love KDA, right? Which is Kadena. Um, back in the last bull cycle, I was big on that. I fucking love it. It's still, you know, you can mine Kadena. Yeah. That was actually one of the most bullish things on it too. It was one of the. It was actually, I think it was like about faster than it's uh, the transaction speeds were actually faster than Ethereum's ADA. It's actually pretty fast. Um, another thing is. You know, they're partners. You know, they're partnered up with Binance, Cosmos, Polkadot, Flux, Ledger. They got yeah. some big I hitters. Like Kadena. Yeah, Kadena's yeah. legit. Yeah, KDA is still doing its thing. It's still it's still pretty big. 
I'm still bullish on it. It's 55 cents. Um, people are still mining Kadena right now, right? Like the yeah. miners are bullish on it. So if the miners are bullish on it, you know it's gonna do well in the future, yeah. right? And it's Gala going. Too. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm like I said, I'm not buying right now. This there's, there's um, which I probably should, but there's so many other things that I'm looking at. Right? Oh, another thing is this that we have to talk about that we didn't talk about. Elon Musk just flipped the fucking world. You know yeah. what I mean? Around. And, and yeah. said, you know what, guys, we're not doing Twitter anymore. We're going to be calling it X. And X. he changed Twitter completely, right? And I made a video on TikTok talking about this. I mean, this is kind of like a little bit of old news, but it's still pretty big, right? It, it, it's and it's pretty big for a lot of the for the Dogecoin holders. I don't, I, and there's a ton of people that are saying, oh my god, you know, this new X. Thing that uh elon's trying to come out with is it connected to xrp is it connected <laughs> to, uh, that's to that's LM? that's reaching though yeah i don't i don't think it's connected to any of those coins but what i do know for a fact is that he said he's trying to take over of like half of the world's financial system with this new app called x he's yeah. trying to take over half of the world's financial system guys there's 8 billion people in this world. That's about 4 billion people, right? That's how that's how big he's trying to make this. Now, one of my arguments, right? One of my arguments for a lot of people that say, no, it's not going to get that big. What's the biggest car company in the world? Tesla. Right? Tesla. What's the biggest space company in the world? SpaceX. SpaceX. Anything that this man does and he touches... It becomes the biggest in that PayPal, space. PayPal, he created PayPal, and PayPal was one of the he biggest. He created PayPal. Promise processing. Platform. Exactly. And now he's saying basically he wants to, you know, have everything on this one app. Your entire like WeChat. Yeah, like WeChat. Exactly. Like WeChat, where WeChat, you know, that's something very, very big in China where they use it to communicate. They use it as their social media uh, platform. They use it as their, you know, how to pay for things. They use it for everything in China, and that's what, he, what he's trying to do with X, which I could definitely see that happening. Now, for my Dogecoin holders who have been waiting for some bullish, bullish news, because Dogecoin is at, what, like seven cents right now? <laughs> it, 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 it's at seven cents. <laughs> Guys, I remember buying Doge when it was, like, below a cent, right? Uh, and and Doge, Dogecoin was actually the first cryptocurrency that I actually uh, bought. Like it's what brought me here. You me know, too. this is why. I, me too. There you go, right? So it brought me and Crypto Logic John here. I right? remember buying it at four, two cents, four cents, five cents, and seven cents, and then I sold at sixty something cents. Oh my god, you made a bag, my bro! You made a bag. I didn't get to make. Listen, I I just had a a, a hard lesson when it came to Doge. I didn't get to make money. I had a hard lesson. Now. <laughs> What I really want to say is this. If you go right now, John, if you go to Twitter, you go to Elon Musk's page, and if you go to his bio, you're going to see an X, and then you're going to see a D. Now, you're probably wondering, what D is that? Where's That's D? Cool. Oh, go, go D, to, yeah. See that? But look at the D. Look at the D. That is a D. That's a Dogecoin D, right? That's a Dogecoin D. So when you have the richest man in the world saying, yo, I'm going to take over half of the world's financial, right? Their financial system. And then he's basically kind of throwing doge out there. Dude, that makes you think that in some sort of way, he's going to incorporate dogecoin into this. And if yeah, that, that is, happens... That is the dogecoin D. That is, yeah. That's the dogecoin D. That's, look, that symbol in his bio that he put recently after announcing X... That's the Dogecoin D. And if we all know that Elon Musk's favorite coin is Dogecoin. Dude, if he announces anything, anything with him integrating Dogecoin into this plan, which I think he will. Like an official yeah. announcement? Because he never really officiated, officially, like, really talk about Dogecoin. He was, like, teasing it. He posted pictures of the dog. And then, he, and then it blew up. And then he started to, like, talk about it. But prior to it blowing up, he was kind of messing around with it. And then he was like, he never accepted Dogecoin for the Tesla. He accepted Bitcoin. 
but he bought Bitcoin. But he holds Dogecoin. Remember, it was a slow progression of how he was teasing Dogecoin until he finally started acknowledging it and started, you know, talking about it. So that official announcement is going to be insane. I think it's going to I think it's a good time to buy some Dogecoin because you can make some. It's just a reset of where you were before. Where you were before. Oh, my God. Sorry. I just it just what vanished. What the heck happened? Hold, Hold on. on. All right. There we go. We back. Oh, we're back again. Thank God for the love. And it's all right. You can leave. <laughs> um, I'm just all, all I'm saying is this, like my like I'm trying to let people know the same way everyone was waiting for that. Man, when that when that um XRP news comes out that the, that they won the case. Right. And it you saw it take off. You saw yeah. XRP take off. not a lot, but you saw it take off. That's kind of what. I'm waiting for when it comes to this announcement with Elon, because I I think he's going to announce something yeah, big when it comes. I think it'd be a good time to uh, buy some Dogecoin, at least a few hundred dollars worth, not financial advice, and make a quick stack. You know what I mean? I think that this price is is the same as it was when you initially it was pumped up before. Obviously, before the pump, it was under a penny. So obviously, you're not gonna make the life changing gains unless you put in like some good amount of money. But if you're trying to make a quick good stack or so to invest in some other some fundamental stuff right now wouldn't be a bad time to accumulate some dogecoin and i know it sounds crazy but just off of the sake of getting some easy money you know what i mean and then to invest yeah. into your long-term bags i think it's, it's it's definitely a quick bag it's definitely an opportunity because that 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 opportunity for dogecoin to hit a dollar is i think is coming for sure now for sure yeah I think Elon's going to incorporate it some way into this big grand scheme that he got going on. A hundred percent. He's going to incorporate it. I, I just have a really <laughs> I have a gut feeling that that's going to happen. It's going to be fun to see. I just want the bull market to come back, but obviously we have to wait for the, the, you know, the way that the economy is right now. Um, I think in the next presidential election by 2024, we'll see another bull run. The Bitcoin having, Right, if there's gonna be a new president, etc. Um, but yo, it, it, yo, are you seeing what's happening with 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 everyone who's trying to run for president? Like, are you seeing what Donald Trump is saying? Are they all like, like pro crypto? DeSantis, even Ron DeSantis. Like, let me just tell you, like right now, um, Trump says he will build the greatest economy in the history of the world if elected in 2024. Now, I I know before. Trump wasn't pro crypto, but he's definitely pro crypto right now because he he launched his his fucking NFT. Remember that those Trump yeah. NFTs? Yep. So he's definitely pro crypto. And then look at this: presidential candidate Ron DeSantis says Biden's war on Bitcoin and crypto will end when I become president. Damn. So. Yeah, yeah. Check that out. Like, you do you see what's happening right now, man? Like, they are using crypto as a stepping stone. As like, hey, you know, like I'm I'm in crypto. Like, I love crypto. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna make it a crypto friendly place. We're gonna do this shit. You know, and that's you know they're probably using that to try to get elected, but yeah. definitely, <laughs> it's a I'm lot of people. Vote. It's a lot of people that are, that can vote that they're gonna they want to tap into. Yeah, I just think I, I I honestly think for the people who thought their their college was gonna get paid, but you know Biden was gonna pay off their college debt, all that. Guys, come on now, man. Everybody was saying, oh Trump this, Trump that, but Trump Trump had us getting money. That's when I was making the most money. I don't know about you, John, but when we had a Republican president like Trump, business was good, stocks were booming, crypto was booming. Everything was booming, and we were in COVID. You know what I mean? We were doing perfect. Everything was fine. Yeah. <laughs> no, everything was good. I think that uh, we're going to see those times again right now. Um, building in the bear market, you know, making money in the bear market, that's that's hard to do. And if you're able to do that, that's it's good. And, you know, going into the bull run, you just lose what, use what you learn to continue, you know, capitalizing on that stuff. And I think that's why a lot of people in the space right now need to really be paying attention during the bull run, I mean, the bear market to get ready for the bull run. Um, and I think that's what, you know, what we have in plan, what we have in store for, you know, for the community and for everyone who are is watching that, what we want to take 
from this podcast and future podcasts that we're going to be doing, uh, which will be, be put out on a consistent basis to allow people to get ready for the next bull run. I think, you know, people have like a year, year and a half left until that happens. So um, I think yeah. for right now you got to be paying attention to these cryptos. Obviously, it may never go back to as low as it was, you know, during the last bear market or whatever, but it's still low compared to where it's going to go in the future, if that makes sense. So these prices yeah. won't stay this low. They're, what what goes down must come up, and what what goes up must come down. It's a cycle, nonstop. Eventually, we have a couple more cycles until it's going to get boring on the stock market. All the cryptos yeah, are going to be yeah. gone. There's going to be a few cryptos left, and it's going to be boring like the stock market. And you have to really know what you're doing. Yeah, you know? exactly. When regulation comes and 99% of all cryptos get wiped out, you're going to have that. You're going to have a phase where shit is pumping like crazy, right? Because now all this money is flowing into Bitcoin, Ethereum, possibly XRP. The top 20 um, cryptos. <laughs> Exactly, and right? Top 20 and make the top, a new top 20, top yeah, 30. You said, it's going to just kind of turn into the stock market where now it's just, you're not going to see it too volatile, right? So right now is the is, is the time to start getting, you know, into crypto, start introducing yourself, you know, buy a little here, buy a little there. Um, and that's it. That's all you have to do is kind of just dip, dip your feet in the water and and do research on what you know coins are good i mean john you already gave three good ones lcx xrp and quant i, I think that's a solid yeah. solid mini portfolio are you are, do KDA, you have any kda flow h bar <clears throat> so h bar is a good one right this was he, he already got a couple it, it, it gets crazy when you start getting into crypto there's so many coins that you start to like you start to get bullish on and then your portfolio turns into five, 10, 15, 20, 30. And now you're invested into like freaking 50 coins. You know, you got to try to like narrow it down. Like if, if, you know, if you're in crypto, you got to make sure you narrow it down to at least, you know, like, or at most 10, nothing, nothing over 10. You don't want to go too crazy. Right. Yeah. You don't want to go too crazy, but definitely, you know, stay stay diversified. Definitely stay diversified. But I mean, there's a ton of cryptos I'm looking at right now that I think, you know, is still gonna do good. I mean, if you're not investing into AI and preparing yourself for the next bull market, you're you're going to get left behind. Like you are going to miss out. They have on the AI, AI. They have an AI section. Um on uh ai and big data on core market cap it's it's number one memes obviously meme coins and stuff but look the market cap is what it's 4.7 billion trading volume is 192 million um down 30 percent though but look the graph you got uh injective render oasis singularity net which is agix ocean protocol fetch ai um there's yeah. a lot of ai tokens that i've had on my watches for a while too origin trail um, I, I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say it. The to me the BXD. best, the the best most bullish AI cryptocurrency that I see that's in the market right now is AGIX Singularity Net. To me, that's the one that I'm the most bullish on. I am the most bullish on that, and it's because of what they're trying to do. They're trying to become the market for AI. Whenever you want to use any AI applications. You're going to have to use singularity.net, AGIX. Yep. That's where you're going to have to go, right? And that's where it makes me extremely bullish. So it's like, listen, and I'll say this one more time. If you're not investing into at least one AI or doing research or trying to get into AI, you're going to fall behind. You're not. I'm telling you, AI is going to take the next bull market by storm. 100 X's easily in the next bull market when it comes to AI cryptocurrencies. Easily, easily. And we saw it pump, I think, like 900% this year, AGIX, which is just crazy. Yeah, and you made a fuck ton of money. I made a fuck ton of money. I, 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 still, money. I still like VXV too. Um, I VXV is a good one. VX, Fetch is a good one too. Those are good. Those are good AI coins. But you, you need to just. Put yourself somewhere in the AI, you know, atmosphere. You got to be in AI. If you, At least add one AI token to your portfolio. 
for you to kind of see those AI games because yeah. when the AI narrative comes back and it's bigger than ever, right? You're gonna see these AI these AI cryptocurrencies pump like crazy. I mean, you've seen AJX pump 900 percent in a fucking bear market. What do you think is gonna happen in a bull market? Yeah, in a bull market, shit's gonna get crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I'm trying to see what other what uh super another crazy. one too, huh? <clears throat> this is gonna be super crazy. I'm still looking at. I'm still a lover of Ada Cardano, but the problem with Cardano is I don't see him evolving or doing anything different with Ada. I think Ada's better than Ethereum, and I know a lot of people are going to hate me for saying that, but I feel like I just feel like Cardano is is, is kind of losing its momentum and its steam. Um, I always said it, Cardano is like Grandpa Coin. I love it. Um, it has great utility. It's great for staking. It's probably the safest thing to stake. Um, but right now, it, it, there's just for me, it's like there's better opportunities to make a bag. Yeah. Um, Dogecoin being one of those, even Litecoin being one of those that I think you could definitely make a good bag on Litecoin. Um, what else is there, man? ICP is something else that I'm investing into. Arbitrum. Oh my god! Like I could go for days on what what's good. Gala, what do you think about Gala? Gala, I'm, Gala. I predicted Gala at eight, at eight cents, and it hit like I think a. I forgot what my what TikTok was, but I think it, it went to like seventy cents, almost a dollar. I think uh, initially when I made a video about it, at eight cents, it ten x. Don't sleep on Gala. I can tell and you right now. I like now, Gala games a lot. Like the games that Gala is coming out with right now are fucking trash. I'm gonna be completely <laughs> honest with you. They're fucking trash, but they're, they're, you know what I mean? They're doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? They're taking those steps into the right direction. Yep. And when Gala gets that, that triple A game, it's over. It's over. Gala's going to fucking pump like crazy. Not financial advice, but it's going to pump like fucking crazy. I'm just saying. That's a, that's a clip for TikTok. That's a clip for TikTok. Hey, hey, that is a clip for TikTok. Oh. <laughs> uh, but not, you know, one of the things that, you know, we want to, I mean, this podcast and what we're trying to do and the goal for it is for us to kind of like provide you guys the information. We've been in the market for a very long time. We understand this shit. Um, but there's multiple, exactly, there's multiple things and multiple ways of making money. And me and John are going to build a discord for that, right? John I mean, you could tell them that, you know, this man has been doing drop shipping and making a killing in drop shipping. And he wants to kind of like teach other people how to drop ship. Am I yeah. saying that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No, yeah. So, I mean, being in a bear market, the, the main goal right now is to get some cash. You want cash flow. You want to be able to make some money. Obviously, that's either you want to be doing, you know, extra side hustles. And one of the best online side hustles is drop shipping, starting an online business, uh, web development, stuff like that. So that's what I've been doing. I've been doing uh, web design, web development, and then basically getting products and selling them online, um, never touching the product and moving it from, you know, wherever it is to whomever buys it and, and making, you know, up to about 1500 a day on average. So I think that this is a skill set that I want to utilize that I've learned. I spent you know, a couple of years learning and been doing it in behind the scenes for a while now. And I want to start letting people tap into it and teaching people how to do it, build, helping them build websites for their own product and how to source and find them and, and basically make money for them, whether it's a side hustle or replacing their full-time job or, or adding it as a secondary part-time job. So I want to be able to, you know, utilize what I've learned and, and allow people to, basically learn how to do this and learn how to make money and learn how to, you know, get sales and make money and to invest, you know, obviously it's not going to make you a millionaire, but the skill set can take you a long way. Right. And, and, uh, and well, it technically could, in, it could in a sense. Yeah. you gotta yeah. be, you gotta be good at, like you said, picking the right item that could get you there. The right and I, product. I know how to, I know how to and I know how to, basically uh, teach you i know how you can pick products to start selling like i know what you need to look for what metrics you need to look at and why this product would be good um i think that's what the disc the discord is going to be valuable because i'm going to be releasing we're going to be releasing products that you know weekly 
These are products that are hot right now. And we're going to be showcasing and giving people products to, to pick from and buy. And on top of that, we're going to teach them how to find their own products. So if they don't want to use the products that we're basically saying, hey, this will be a hot hit, this would be a hot hit, they can use a skill set that, you know, that I've learned and use it for themselves to find their own product. So it's going to have everything in regards to like teaching you how to build your website, teaching you how to set up, you know, TikTok ads, Facebook and Instagram ads, and how to find creatives, how to upload the creatives, how to source them out and pump ads and get people to visit your website, teach you the game of what you're looking for and how to buy data and how to basically start getting that cha-ching sound on your, on your Shopify app. Cha-ching. Yeah, yeah. cha-ching sound. No, yeah. I mean, <laughs> dude, I, I remember having a conversation because I never really got into the drop shipping thing. And then I kind of had a conversation with you. And I didn't even know you knew all this shit. And I was just kind of like blown away. I'm like, fuck. And then <clears throat> I, I want to go back to you said $1,500 a day, which yes. is just <laughs> insane, guys. Like. Imagine if you could get a product that could pay you out fifteen hundred dollars a day. I think that's that's a, a a goal a lot of people have. You know what I mean? Even five hundred dollars a day that's, sounds crazy. And, and that's easy though. That's the crazy thing about it. Making two hundred, three hundred dollars a day off a product is very possible for a first timer. Like you just find the product, and if you know what you're doing, you know how to buy data. And when I say buy data, it means you're feeding. You're feeding the algorithm. You're feeding your um, uh, audience platform, your your marketing platform, whether you're using TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. You're giving it the data that it needs to then push the content in front of the people that will be more likely to buy it. And if you have a good product based on the criteria that we're going to show you what to look for, if it solves a problem, if it's something that has a FOMO effect to it, just like a crypto to token, it makes people need to buy it right then and there. They'll go, they'll buy it, and then and then once you start getting some sales, it just doesn't stop. And you can get, you know, 10 sales a day for a $10 product, right? That's $100 a day already. You can get 20 sales of a $20 product. You know what I'm saying? Like, it depends on what you're selling and, 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 and how far you can scale it. If you have a higher ticket item, right, $50 for a product, $60, you only need to sell like two or three a day, right, to make $200, $300 a day. You may only need to sell five. Right. But if you have something that's smaller, like th there's so many different variables that play into it that anyone can do it if you're a first timer. And I think that Discord is going to be useful for those people that are hungry that, you know, you, you invest ten dollars into Starbucks a day or whatever. You, you should be able to invest ten dollars into yeah, yourself yeah, or something like not, that. You know what I mean? I, I, disclaimer, this this program, this Discord is not for lazy people. If you are lazy and you're broke, stay home, <laughs> stay broke, don't do shit, that's fine, right? But for the people who actually want to do something and learn something, you know, definitely jump in that Discord. When that Discord gets created and we build that platform for you guys, jump in that Discord and start fucking learning. Yes. You know what I mean? That's It's, it's for the people that are hungry. If you're not hungry yeah. and you want to stay working at McDonald's for the rest of your life, by all means, you know, have fun flipping those burgers. But if you want to actually learn and make something like fifteen hundred dollars a day, then yeah, jump into the Discord. Yeah. Definitely how to do that and that's, shit. And that's why I, we wanted to make a new, fresh Discord. We we obviously already have the Crypto Logic Discord, and that's kind of alpha based, crypto based. So we kind of wanted to keep it separate. So then the focus is, is where the focus needs to be. So when we're in the crypto one, it's all crypto related and everything and alpha related crypto news. And people are in there talking about cryptos and investment strategies. So obviously we're going to link everything and allow people to jump back and forth. The crypto side has a, uh, a payment option that we're going to be, you know, ramping up and, and, and getting some good trading in alpha in there as well, too. Um, we're looking into building that out as well but i think that um this new fresh discord is going to be primarily for web 2 because this is technically considered web 2 stuff right building an online business um a tangible business that you own you can get llc for and, and make money off of right and the crypto side is the web 3 side so we're going to bridge them together but the web 2 discord you know we don't have a name for it yet we're, we're working on that behind the scenes we should have it out in a couple of weeks or probably yeah, less hey, than man, that listen, listen. I like want to say, man. I'm just excited to get that thing out Triple there. Logic John community, just thank me for bringing this guy back. <laughs> right? 
I'm I'm having a I'm having a fucking conversation with him, right? And he's he's telling me all this, how much he's making and he, how he's doing it. And I'm just there like, bro, why are you not like showing anybody how to do this? You you fucking information hoarder. Like <laughs> yeah. people how to do that so they can make you know, fifteen hundred dollars a day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's other people out there that are struggling that want to make some bread. You know, throw your knowledge out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, show people so they can learn. And I, I, I just want to take the credit for, uh, for bringing this <laughs> on the podcast and and pushing him to 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 teach people to do shit like this. You know what I mean? And I, I think it's good. But also, that Discord is not going to just have that. You're going to have access to, um. My portfolio, John's portfolio, um, access to a ton of different things. We're gonna get um real estate agents in there that could help and provide real estate information for the people that are looking for that. You want a ton of fucking shit. So when you when you go there, you're getting the full package. Another thing that we're gonna have in that Discord is for the people that wanna get a job or start, you know, building their resume in Web3. We're going to have a place where, uh, like a bot, where you can actually go in there, fill an application out, and jobs can start looking, you know, uh, employers can start looking, yep. and they might hire you. We, there's a bot for that that we're going to have in that Discord. It's just going to get crazy, man. That, that that whole Discord is for you to make money, and that's it. And, you know, like I said, thank you to Crypto Sage here for, yes, for making it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, man, to start, you know, letting people see you. What it what it's gonna entail, what we can do, and the power, and start hearing everyone's success stories. Like that's what I'm really excited about is is we're gonna be in taking some testimonials and people saying I made my first sale or I made my first hundred dollar day. Like you know what I mean? Like or I got my first job with that bot. Like that's what I'm looking forward to and 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 showing people like we really out here. You know, there's 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 if you put your like minded people together, you could build something great. You know what I mean? So that's, that's what I'm excited about. A hundred percent. We're going to fucking build it. Um, another thing, what I, what I will say is this, right? <clears throat> I think we went over everything that's going on in the market on this podcast. Um, tomorrow, we're going to we're going to be back here tomorrow at seven o'clock talking about everything that's updated. We're going to be letting you guys know what's going on with Richard Hart. We're going to let you know what's going on with Coinbase, everything. And another thing that I really want to talk about tomorrow, because I find very interesting if you look, it is actually the second most trending cryptocurrency. It's called WorldCoin. I don't know a fuck shit about what WorldCoin is, but I I kind of want to do the deep dive on the next podcast, right? Where there's a section on where we, we do a deep dive on what the hell WorldCoin is. Yeah, we got to do that. We got to figure out. I want to learn about that too. Yeah. I was looking at the website. The website looks very interesting. It does look, it, it does look different, um, but... I, I want to take tomorrow to do a deep dive on that. And that's something that I think we, we, we're going to start doing. Um, We'll start doing a lot of deep dives on a lot of these cryptocurrencies. So you guys could actually fucking learn what it is that we're talking about. So world coin, I think uh, I, I'm interested to look at what the hell that is. <laughs> it's yeah. trending and it actually looks good. It actually looks really good. Oh, ticker symbol WLD. So, with that being said, I, I think we fucking nailed it today. I think we absolutely killed it. <laughs> we did. I'm fucking ready to, to start fucking hammering down on this shit and really, you know, ramping up the content and ramping up the Discord, both, you know, like, and getting oh, yeah. making people, them accountable. Hold allowing them accountable. people to, to utilize and learn a new skill set and make some money. Exactly. This man is out here making mad money and hoarding that shit. <laughs> We about to show the people. Show the people. We about to show everybody. That's it. Though. That's all. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna show everybody how to do it. And you heard it here. You heard the breakdown on kind of like every coin that you know John is into. Also, the next chat, I will kind of you know peel back and show people what what I'm what I'm investing into, and I'll give everybody a breakdown on on everything. All right. But with that being hey, said, I mean hey. that's it. We fucking did it. <laughs> Wherever, right. Yo, if you should. If you stood the entire time, I appreciate you. Just want to let you know I appreciate you. Let's I fucking go. I appreciate you too. Let's go. And of course, in the Discord, we're going to have all the proof that, you know, that it works. We're going to showcase, like, I'm going to showcase all the daily proceeds and, and all the sales that have come in and all that stuff and showcase to you guys what it looks like. Oh, shit. Can I just say this? Sorry. 
breaking news, coins section is included in the latest development version of X. Coins? Where's this at? Yeah, so, so now there's like a coin section. Where? They they said um, on X. I'm okay. looking for it. I can't fucking find it yet. Maybe tomorrow but, we can talk about it if we find it today. Yeah, we'll talk about it in the next podcast, but that's breaking news. That's cool. <laughs> It's good. I'm Dogecoin. I'm Dogecoin. Just saying, Dogecoin. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, but Dogecoin. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for stewing this far. Oh, I'm I'm fucking pumped. Um, you guys, thank you for uh, you know tuning in. Um, I just think you're you yawn. This man no, yawned. I, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, it was it was a conundrum. It was a what was that thing where it goes like this? Not parallel, but um. Ironic irony, I don't know, but uh, yeah, but yeah, something, <laughs> but yeah, you know, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, this you know, this podcast is only really gonna get more fire, more better. Holy fuck. Before we go, another breaking fucking news. I'm so sorry. FTX founder Sam Bankman Freed is being accused of creating the rug pulling bald coin, <laughs> bald coin, yeah. So there's a coin that just Basically, they you know it's it's a coin called Bald, and then it just got like lick like bro just liquidated like shit just got crazy like they just took everything out that bitch. Um, I, am I looking at the right one? But they're saying that he might be the one behind it. Um, I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm so sorry. It's like breaking news after breaking news every fucking time. That's gonna be interesting. <clears throat> but hey, we got a lot to talk about uh, the next podcast. Yeah, so, sorry. No, I'm all right. Just, but you guys, thank you for tuning in. See you guys in the next video. Get ready. Have a good one. Peace. Peace. Peace.